Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kanav Bansal and in this video, I'll be talking about how to work with multiple developers on a single code base. So in order to understand GitHub collaboration, we have to understand how to generate a pull request and how an owner can merge those pull requests. So let's try to understand it theoretically first and then we will see the practical implementation of the same concept. So if we talk about GitHub, GitHub is nothing but a place where you can store your files, similar to Google Drive. Now, the difference between Google Drive and GitHub is, on GitHub, you are supposed to store your code files. And with multiple developers that are on GitHub, you can collaborate with those developers, as well as those developers, if they want, they can contribute to your source code as well. Now, let's try to talk about this scenario, where this person is having an account with this username on github.com. Let's say this person wants to create or host some project on github.com. The name of this project on github.com is 200 lead code questions. Now, this person is the owner of this repository, right? Now, let's try to understand how any other person in the world can collaborate and contribute to this source code. Now, let's assume this is another person with this username on GitHub. Let's say this person is interested in this code that was written by person 1. He can't directly change the source code in this repository. So, first of all, he has to create a copy of this code on his account. Now, this process is called as forking a GitHub repository. Right? Now, after this person has copied the complete source code, he can do all the required changes on this code. And after that, he can simply request the owner of the original repository to update the source code with all the changes. So this kind of request is called as pull request. Now, this owner can simply review and update the code with the desired changes if he thinks all the changes are good. Alright, so this is the complete workflow of how GitHub collaboration works. Now, let's try to understand this complete concept again with this diagram. So, let's say person 1 who was the owner of the repository hosts a project on GitHub or basically stores a project on GitHub. Now, let's say person 2 is interested in contributing towards that project. So, he can simply go ahead and copy that project. We call it forking the project. Then he will make all the desired changes. After making all the desired changes, he can request the owner to update the code base. So this concept, this thing is called as generating the pull request. Now, person one, the owner of the repository, he will get the notification with the changes that were made by person two. Now, this person, the owner of the repository, he can go ahead and review the code changes that were made and he can merge the pull request. Basically, he can make the changes to the original code base. Now, let's try to understand it practically. Now, let's consider this scenario where we have these two persons, person 1 on the left hand side and person 2 on the right hand side. So, let's say this person 1 is having an account on github.com with this username, Bansal Kana. Let's say second person is having the account on github with this username, the technologist. All right. Now, let's say technologist is interested in the code written by Bansal Kanal. So, first step is to copy this complete code. In order to copy this complete code, we just need to fork this repository. So, once we fork this repository, you can clearly see that this repository now resides inside this account. Right, and it is forked or copied from Bansal Kanav's original repository. Now, let's say I have solved this question on lead code. Lead code problem number 42 trapping rainwater. Now, I want to update this code. For example, let's say I go to 200 lead code questions folder and let me find lead code problem number 42. So, as you can see, this is lead code problem number 42. So let me open C++ file from here. So I just want to edit this file. As soon as I click on this edit button, I will see this editor over here. And I just need to copy this code to this file. 
As soon as I do this, I can simply go ahead and commit the changes that I've made. After committing these changes, I can go back to the repository, right? I need to pull the request to make owner know that these are the changes that I did. As soon as I click on pull request, GitHub will automatically detect all the changes that were made by me. On this file, lead code problem number 42.cpp, I did all these changes. So I can go ahead and create a pull request. All right, so I can simply write some comment, okay? And then I just need to create a pull request. Now, as soon as I do this, the owner is going to get notified with the changes that the technologist made. All right, so let's go to the owner's account. So as you can see, there is a notification, right? So let's let's refresh this page first of all. So as soon as I refresh this page, I will get this pull request, right? I will go to this pull request. I will click on this. And as you can see, the technologist had made some changes, right? So let, let me check the file changes that were made. So I just need to go to file changes. I will review that, okay, this looks good. So I just need to go back to the conversation and I will simply click on this merge pull request button and I just need to confirm the merge, okay? Now, as soon as I do that, this code that was written by the technologist is going to get merged with the original repository, original code bits, all right? So this is a complete process of how multiple developers can collaborate on GitHub platform. All right. So thank you for watching, guys. If you need anything else, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you and have a nice day.